And for me, it is a 7.16 in the morning on Sunday, which I do not know the current date. Um, it is definitely 2018, I know that. Actually, today's the 7th. Figure that out, because tomorrow is my little sister's birthday. It's turning 9, and look at outside. I didn't have school on Friday because it was about negative 30 that day. Look at all that snow. Ain't it beautiful? All those tracks are from uh, my little sister and her friend, Slither. On the one little tiny peony sled that we've had for the past three years. <coughs> it's pink. Anyways, I was making uh, another YouTube video, but I had to catch my dog doing something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Laying on the couch. I know it's a dumb rule, but... We have it, because he has extremely greasy fur, and he never gets a bath because we can't afford the money into the shampoo, and the water, and when he gets out, he just shakes off and everything gets wet, and it's a pain in the, it's a pain in the, to, to dry off, you know. Anyway, so what I got for Christmas. Not the shoes, the things on them, the neon street rollers. Those things are so much fun. So much fun. I ride around in my kitchen right now. I don't know if you saw them. It's like wheels that light up. You put on your feet. Neon. Neon street rollers. They're really fun. They're really easy to attach. All you gotta do a button right, right there. Hold on. It's a little button. I don't know if you can see. A little Um, right there, you can see a little bump, there's a little button. Press that, pull them apart, it like expands out. Put your shoe in it, about near your heel, so about right there, the heel. And then you push them together as hard as you can. You tighten them, and then what you gotta do is gotta go to the side, to the inside of the foot. And this is a little hook that you pull out, you put your foot in the shoe, and you put that back on, and then you tighten it, <coughs> but then what you gotta do is every time you put it on, you gotta undo the hook, put your shoe on, and then do the hook again. Really easy to use, but that's after a few days of practice. They take a lot of practice. Like, I spent at least the past, like in the past two, Three weeks I have spent, I've actually spent about a week of the past three weeks on those things, practicing with them. But here's the catch though. Well, if you have, if you use your right foot out in front, like this, when you're riding them, you can turn right very easily and very sharp, but you can't turn left unless you have your hand on a surface and you like push yourself around. It's very hard and it's very stressful. And here's what I wore in bed last night. I wore a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a pair of sweatpants, and socks. Because the two pairs of socks, which I'm still wearing right now. Um, sorry. My nose is really itchy. I'm not sick or anything, so my nose is really itchy. And, well, there went a salt shaker, aka a plow truck, that spreads salt on the road, shakes salt on the road, and that's the name of salt shaker. Anyways, um, so, they're really hard to use. And if you try to turn left in them... Anyway, that's not what I was talking about. Talking about that my dad took my space heater out of my room last night because he's trying to save electricity try to save money because the second half of our income which we use for groceries is moving out like tomorrow or the next day so yeah so she babysits and she makes good enough amount of money of it to have to feed us all for the week anyways so that means it's just gonna be me and my dad so it's gonna be just about the same but less food in the house 
And we're not going to have any uh, natu all natural sugars, all natural pure cane, pure nothing but sugar in it. Sugar and all this slim fit, all this. She does exercise. It's, it's, it's odd. Tiny night light with stars on the ceiling. The motion helps me sleep. I also use a radio and another light light at night. The night light makes sure that I can actually see so that I'm not seeing little shadows. I don't even know if they made anything. Because it freaks me out. Like, I once got scared stiff. If the power goes out and I'm on my phone, I literally make sure I turn on my flashlight before I move. Like, that's how paranoid I am in the dark. I hate it. I feel like there's no point in it. There is, because there's an absence of light. All it is is an absence of light, they tell me. And then I see shadows creeping around my room. I turn my light on, there's nothing there. I turn my light off, I see shadows creeping around my room. I'm paranoid. And here's my cat who wants to get out of my room. Bye, cat. Anyway, we're on to six minutes, six seconds of the video. Six seconds, six seconds, um... What else? I got a battleship over there, and I got a tank box right there, and I got a marshmallow shooter right there. Yep, holds 20 marshmallows. Hold on, 20 marshmallows. Load into this thing. Pump action. It's not ideal for aiming, but it is ideal for shooting. I shot my, I shot, I got shot with it. It hurts. If it were to hit my hand, it would leave a little tiny red mark where the marshmallow hit it. I think shoots hard. I recommend it. It is called um, Smart Gear Marshmallow Raider. Right here. some wrapping paper on it. That first it's from Christmas. I did not want that on my recording video. Anyway. Marshmallow Raider. Pump action for rapid fire. F fires mini marshmallows. Holds up to 20 marshmallows and safe for in for indoors or out. Fires real mini marshmallows up to 30 feet indoors or out. Pump action air powered raider fires up to 30 feet. Fast loading tube holds up to 20 mini marshmallows. Perfect for both indoor and outdoor play and fun for all ages. That does not mean you can use it for all ages. This thing is actually six and up, so if you're less than six and you're watching this video, I don't recommend it. Here's another thing I got from my grandparents Pass the gas. How inappropriate is that? It's a game. You press the button, <clears throat> you toss it around, and whenever the thing farts very nastily, that means you lose. <clears throat> it's like hot potato. It's basically an inappropriate, it's basically a stupid, nutty, gassy version of hot potato. You don't see this. You don't see that I'm a fan of Lightning McQueen. <laughs> I've had that pillow since I was, since before I was born. Just like I've had this since before I was born. Yes, it's a teddy bear. But the dad thinks I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to this thing. And the bunny that my mom got me for Easter a couple years back. And the uh, mouse thing that. Guys, he's a wrapping paper. Come back to haunt me! <laughs> Drop this thing on the floor. And I landed on my foot. <laughs> None of you guys can't see me very well. <laughs> Hold on. It's on my bed now. It does not want to be. And now it's on my wall. Without even using the tape to stick, it's just kind of there with static like It's sort of our static electricity. Anyways, if I had a screen recorder, you guys, so anyways, this is the my first of two videos in the day. The next one will be screen recorded from a game I like to call Real Engine Sim. Or should I do Rev Heads? 
Anyways, if you guys watch this video, comment down below. I'll play either either Real Engine Sim or Rev Heads. I have both, and I have a couple other games too, but I don't remember what they're called. If you'd like me to play either of those, comment down below. Or if you have another game suggested, I will download it, try it, and maybe screen record it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And if you guys don't, if you guys can't play in the snow, well, neither can I. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys later then. Bye bye.